Welcome to Pikachu channel. This is the third day of my 30 day video challenge. Join me in my video journey. My third video blog motivational, 9 ways in how to get out of your own way. By JT Fox, thank you from Pikachu. Hello everybody, my name is JT Fox and welcome to another live. Today we are going to talk about an important topic. We are going to talk about nine ways for you to get out of your own way. Now you have to understand that the person you are here today got you to where you are. Okay, so I want you to visualize your bank account, however small or big, and if you're rolling your eyes that probably means that's negative. And whatever effort you've put in in your business or in your life or whether in your career, that's the result. Now, I know people say, well, money does not bring happiness and we shouldn't be judged by how much money we make. I get that. But here's the fundamental problems as well. The better you are at what you do, real estate investing, speaking, coaching, you're an executive at your job, the more money in theory you should be making. So today we're going to talk about nine ways for you to get out of your own way. Now, you've heard me say this before, how you change is how you succeed. But most people don't want change. Most people are afraid of change. Why? That, not sure. Partly it's because people are afraid of, of what the unknown is going to be. Now see, entrepreneurism will always be a world of unknown, okay? You don't know what's gonna happen today, tomorrow, next week, but as long as you keep pushing, the opportunities will come. But the problem that this pandemic is doing is that uncertainty. I'll give you an example. The UK was opening back up, right? There was going to be events starting October 1st. And then all of a sudden, boom, you can't be more around than six people. Just like that. People were making plans to get back. And now they're talking about this could last as much as six months. And the whole world's upside down as the second wave is hitting all over. Now, whether you agree or disagree, that's not the point. The point is that more businesses are being disrupted. So you need to pivot, you need to change, you need to adapt. So I'm gonna tell you right now nine ways for you to become a better person. Now I'm gonna tell you my definition of success. Are you a better person today than you were yesterday? Will you be a better person tomorrow than where you were today? As long as every single day you are striving to become that better person, you will succeed. So let's go nine. Step number one, if you guys want to write into the comments uh, and follow along, that's fantastic. The first business advice I've ever received, I was 24 years old. Uh, it was from my first partner, Seth, was stop talking about it and get it done. Now, ironically, I used to talk about all the things I wanted to do and I never got anywhere because I was too busy talking about it. I was that broke guy doing vision boards, putting the picture of the car, picture of the houses, all that, rather than putting that time, right, into my business, right? Now, fast forward now, we don't clip magazines. People are wasting time on YouTube, looking at what other successful people's homes, other people's successful cars. Don't worry about other people's cars and houses. Focus about you, your life. Focus that energy on what's going to get you the maximum amount of result. So stop talking about it and get it done. Stop procrastinating. Stop saying not this year. Stop saying I'm not ready. Stop saying this is not a good time. The time is now because later is never. Let me repeat that for you. Later is never. Number two, risk is only an excuse that you say to yourself so that you don't grow. You say you're afraid, right? You use the word risk, but you are really afraid. Afraid of failure, afraid of what people are gonna say, afraid of losing money, afraid of going outside your comfort level. Stop living the life of what somebody else wants to become and stop letting those negative people, those haters, those non-believers live rent-free inside your brain. You only need to please yourself. That's first and foremost as well. If you take risk out, you take the opportunity out. So there can never be success without risk. Now, if you don't want risk and that and, and having a job nine to five or having a small business, 
and living the hell you're living now, that's completely okay. If your current situation makes you happy, then that's okay. But at some times you're gonna realize that there is no greater risk than you taking a risk on yourself. Number three, master three things. There are people who only focus on one thing and then there are other people who focus on a hundred things. What you need to do is you need to focus on three things. Something that when Bob Iger took over Disney said, you know, we can do a hundred things, let's focus on three things. Three core things, okay? Because sometimes you focus on one thing and by the way, perfection is not a detail. Okay, the detail is in the perfection. That's something sometimes we'll focus on one thing too much. And the problem is that in business, we don't know if it's going to work or not. Focus on three things and master it. Dominate it. Learn everything there is to know about this as well. Go vertical with your thinking. Go deep, not horizontal. Go deep. Okay, so that's an important part of that. You got to do it. So what are three core things that can grow your life, grow your business and get you on a path? Many people have it started and they want to do a hundred things and some people just focus on one thing as well. Number four, failure is the greatest coach in the world, but having a coach is how I avoid failure. Pika Tuesday's nine ways in how to get out of your own way by JT Fox. Thanks for watching Pika Chu channel. Please subscribe to my channel and God bless you.